Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's a little bit of a different one today. As you can see, I'm not in my scrubs. I'm not rushing anywhere. Um, it's a Saturday. I'm taking the nail varnish off my toes. Today, is I have some exciting news. So this video is in partnership with National Express Coventry. I'm gonna be basically taking the bus and showing you like a few of the places in Coventry that I go to. Yeah, the bus service here is pretty well connected. So yeah, so it's actually really exciting that I am now having a partnership with National Express Coventry. I'm going to get something to eat before I head out. But do any of you guys put steel on your rice? Because I never used to, but for some reason, like, I don't know. I just kind of like it. So I'm just on my way to town to Gallivant and I'm going to take you guys with me. But yeah, just walk into the bus stop. So I used the National Express Bus M ticket app to buy an anytime day saver ticket for £4. And this is because I knew I'd be taking more than one bus and was going to be gallivanting. And as you can see, it's really straightforward to do. And once you have that ticket, that's you sorted out for the whole day. So you can get on any National Express Coventry bus and you won't have to worry about paying again. Once I saw the bus approaching, I then activated my ticket so it was ready for use and then all I had to do was show the bus driver. So I'm about to go into town and yeah, yeah, just do a yeah, few yeah, things in Gallivan and I might go to Fargo Village and maybe Leamington as well um, because that's actually quite nice and the sun is, the weather's nice. And by the way, if you're going around with a group of friends, the app also has the option for a group day saver ticket and that costs like £7 and you can go with up to five people. And to be honest, I think that's a pretty good deal. Guys, I don't think you understand, but the weather today is actually amazing. It's, it's so good. Like, I feel like it's actually summer started. But you know what the big thing is, yeah? is that we have exams in September, so I can't even properly, like I have Afro Nation in July, but after that, I'd like basically don't have a summer. The convenient thing about this bus as well is that it goes through Coventry Station. And this is the new station actually, they just built this one. This is the place where I come and I'm changing like buses to go to hospital. If you're living in Coventry and if you take the bus, you are 100% likely to come through Pool Meadow bus station at least once. Like, because this is the place that connects you to all the different places in Coventry, basically. We then made our way to the Coventry Transport Museum which was literally like across the road from the bus station and I wanted to have a peek at this place because when I was last there it was being used as a testing centre for Covid but obviously it's now opened back up to the public and we just wanted to have like a little peek and just, just being a bit nosy to be honest. Essentially once you buy a ticket for £15 once you buy a ticket for £15, you have that ticket for the whole year. So you can pretty much come anytime you want, 365 days a year and like come and see. I didn't end up buying a pass for today, but I decided that I wanted to be outside to be honest because the weather was too nice. So I don't know what's going on in town right now, but there's something happening. So it's a drone show, which is why they've blocked out all this sense of it. So this is the part of town where you're going to find like most of your shops, like JD and things like that. 
So behind the fencing is your chain restaurant, so like your Wagamamas and your Five Guys. I really want a milkshake because the weather's really good. Actually, there's this place I like to go over there called Shake Away. Let's go there instead. I'm not gonna lie, I do love a shake away milkshake. Guys, I don't think you understand, it was so satisfying to have a milkshake in hot weather. And you know Britain, hot weather is hard to come by. So I basically love this place because like you can kind of like literally put whatever you want. Smarties, I don't do that though, but you can literally put anything you want in there. Thank you. I got the Dave for the Fredo, so that's Kinder Bueno. What else is it? Kinder Bueno, Ferrero Rocher, and I got like a Fredo, Fredo in there, Fredo. <laughs> got a Fredo in there as well. I'm a businessman, Fredo. <laughs> <laughs> We're done with the milkshakes now and we're gonna head off to Fargo Village, but we're gonna get the bus. But first, we made a quick stop at Sainsbury's for water. We got on the bus 13 where I showed the bus driver my day ticket as I got on. No, one thing, thing. So the walk from city centre to Fargo Village is usually about 15 minutes, but this journey literally took us like a couple of minutes and it dropped us right outside. So we're on Gosford Street. We just got, got, got off the bus there. Yeah, there's Af yeah, there's a lot of stuff down there to be fair. There's African shops, there's AGG. So I really like Fargo Village. Honestly, because it just, when you're here, it just feels different. And in Fargo Village, Everything is independent and small creative businesses. You will not find any chain restaurants here. Like there's this place I like to go to called Esme's and they sell Caribbean food and it's really good. And like the vibe is just different. They have like plant markets on, they have like different sort of markets going on, they have different events. And I really do wish I came here a lot more because it's quite nice. Um, yeah, I do like this place. I do like Fargo Village, I rate it a lot. Um, it's like over there in like, the little things. Yeah, I like this place. Should we go to the Pope's house? Let's go. Let's go see. Over here they've got like the little shops as well. I once bought a brownie from one of the shops in here and it was actually really good. It was a really good brownie. So we're just showing you the Common Ground which is an art cafe that I really like as well. Yeah, I just couldn't resist the shopping. Honestly, I just couldn't resist. I needed to see some clothes. <laughs> they've always got like nice things like going on in here. Sometimes they have like a large plant sale or they have like vintage stuff going on. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna have a look at some t-shirts because obviously Afro Nation, I may or may not buy something, uh, but we'll see. I like it. I think it's nice, it's just the size, it might be a bit, a bit Check small. it, what size is it? It's small. Nah, um, what, what about this, this one, this one? Which one? Yeah, I like stuff like that. That looks nice, you know? I think I like this jacket. It's giving me Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying on this Fresh Prince jacket. With the bag on. Yeah, that looks nice. Is it nice? That's cool though, right? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, it is. Yo. I want to look in the mirror. Yeah, that's cool. I think it suits my size. Yeah, just show them his rib work, obviously. And it's, uh, it's also, look, it's... Ah, cool. It's not bad, you know? It's not bad. If you're not going to, like, gonna lock it up. It up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyway. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Yeah, it's nice. Look at this jacket. Pressure made us buy clothes. Basically, we were like, oh yeah, that's one kilo, one kilo. We were like, we thought we were under. It was two kilos worth of clothes. Well, pounds, it was yeah. 40 pounds, but to be fair, that's like five, six items, which is not bad. That's Each item was like five, seven pounds. That's not bad. Guys, this is my favorite place in Coventry, by the way, just saying. So the bus stop is very close to Fargo. I literally just came through the alleyway there and then, it was literally like a minute. 
So I made my way home and to be honest, that was very short lived because I had a deadline on Friday. I need to work on it. So I decided to get the bus 11 to campus and meet my friend. Right, so I wasn't gonna get off at main campus, but I'm really hungry and I wanna get some food. So, oh my goodness, main campus was so busy that day. Like the sun was out and everybody was just enjoying life to be honest. They don't have any of the ham sandwiches left. The ham and cheese. That's like all I ever buy. I got myself a meal deal, a wrap, a chocolate flapjack and a Ribena. And then I made my way to the Gibbet Hill campus. Amisha and I decided to go to the IBRB building, which is literally right next to the medical school and it's really, really pretty inside. So we were both working on our GP audits. Mine was based on thyroxine and I was doing it on my GP, the GP I've been allocated to for this block. Yeah, to be honest, I think we spent about altogether an hour there or an hour and a half before we called it a day. Yeah, it was a Saturday, we needed to chill. <laughs> Good afternoon guys, it's Sunday and yeah, I've just kind of been lazing about today but um, I do have that essay to do and I did not really do much yesterday in the library. I got a bus to campus using a new day saver ticket I bought. Right, so I'm on main campus now and I'm thinking of possibly going to the Oculus. And I actually decided I was going to do a little bit of a detour and go to the Warwick Art Centre because there was a gallery on in there that I was at a couple of days beforehand. But I didn't get to stay very long because I arrived at closing time. So this is my opportunity. On campus there's actually quite a lot of things going on but right now I'm gonna go actually study. So this is the new faculty of arts building on main campus and it actually serves as a really really good study space like it's really pretty. Once I found a space, I actually made some really good progress on the audit. So I decided that I wanted to go to War Memorial Park. I took the 12X because that's the one that goes straight by War Memorial Park. Guys, I'm at War Memorial Park. It's literally like you jump off the bus and you get you get stopped outside. Like it's so easy. And I love this park because I used to come here a lot when during exams with my friends, with one of my friends, and we used to revise it. And it was just so relaxing because I don't know, just that change of scenery, like it's a vibe. I really want to miss the whippy, I can't lie. Guys, this Afro Nation body I'm trying to get, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's really looking like whatever body I have, whatever body I have during Afro Nation is my body, is my summer body. So the park doesn't usually look like this actually, but 
I spoke to someone and they said that there was barriers up everywhere because the drone light show was happening later but I didn't actually end up going in the end. Guys, it's the end of the vlog. I really have enjoyed watching this video I did in partnership with National Express Coventry as much as I enjoyed making it. Guys, don't forget the usual to like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. All the best and see you in the next one. Bye.